Okay. Welcome in, everybody. We're just well getting started. Mm -hmm. 30. Degrees. 30. Yeah. Thanks for your okay, patience. Really good. So you've you've been around that. Zane over there. You've been around that kind of so 30 have, uh, Okay, that that's good. Lucky enough Because I thought have, when, uh, when we were saying about it being Joy strong, yeah. she's I'm here like, for the CP. They're weak. Uh, and so that's that's Magda okay. Club. Magda that's Club cool. Where me and Ian played oh, what, two months ago for our encore vlog. We'll do that. that course. Yeah, we'll just I'm just going to run them through this stuff. Full check. Then we'll hit them and see what we need to adjust. Okay. So you'll hear Ian's voice. He's mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. Say hi, Ian. Guys. Ian says hello. Um, he's just going through lofts and lies right now. Uh, um, Apex Forged. Apex uh, Pro, yeah. Okay, so Apex Pro. Um, Nayan has a setup. She's in. Ian's checking all the, uh, all the specs on those right now, so I'll keep you apprised of that. Um, let us know if the feed and sound and everything are good. Guys, if there's any issues, please let me know. We'll be switching between this camera and this little webcam, which is going to be on the, uh, the screen. So you'll be able to see numbers, ball flights. Um, and then, of course, I can swing the camera back over when we start, and you'll be able to see the major winning golf swing. Um, if you guys have any questions starting off, feel free to let me know. If not, I'm going to um, just let Ian get started over there. Good. Sound is good. I'll see you. I need to get you going and say hi to the... It's Larry Chung in the background there. I need to get you going and say Elsie. hi to the YouTube world. Here's Elsie. There's the man. The myth. What's up, buddy? Am I in your shot? Nope. You, you're, you're audible. You're on oh, my mic. Oh, I see. Cool. This is the hello, live hello. zone. So the LPGA Tour player is Nyon Choi. She was 2010 How's your game playing list winner, 2012 US and Open winner. She had the lowest scoring average in 2010. Excellent. Excellent. Who are you working um, with now? She had a no bunch one. of just, tour, just nine tour wins, and I and believe. Out. Nine LPJ cool. tour wins, eight Korean tour wins. Just very well accomplished. Yeah, Larry the Spy is here. You played golf in Toronto before? Um, Chris, okay, yeah, so you're looking at basic many golf many clubs. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about um, that was like, what that they was do what, to women's clubs usually. Something. Women's clubs are almost like always lighter right. and much more flexible in the shaft. Like and they're I usually higher lofts in the woods. Um, really? That is speaking I very generally. I don't remember where last year was. More to it than that, but that's your general starting point. Okay. I'm going to boost yeah. the volume a little bit, guys. So no. <laughs> this will be better, yeah. Okay. Hopefully you guys call better. a you guys call a sweater a jumper as well. Yeah. yeah. No one calls a sweater a jumper over here. So like we would call it a jumper uh, back yeah, in Scotland. Yeah, she is supported by. But Cal no Lake. one, everyone calls like um, if I call a, a sweater a jumper, everyone's like, what? Yeah. She has her stuff. Every, it's just a sweater. Lake, she is like, here for fitting. Like hoodie. Or yeah, that would be a jacket or yeah, that's a um, thing. But like a top, whisker, like a top, a topic for another video. Is that right? Larry Maybe that's what it is. That story, Maybe that's what Larry, it is. Um, Larry got involved with TXG before I did, so he he could definitely tell you what the backstory is on that. Um, Fletcher, the KBS shafts, I believe, are going to be here. In the next week or so, something like that. Any early, early questions coming in? Yeah, I'm just grabbing a couple now. I'm just adjusting the volume. I will throw some over to you. Okay. All right, let me know if I have fixed that. Hopefully I've fixed that sound. What about it? I did. I did. That's a really interesting Sorry, one. Yeah, it was the live good. audio was a different world. It's not the same. But a meeting with the, usual setup. with the OG of um, Strokes game. Let me see if I can grab some questions here, guys. 
But um, I am very yes, interested. Go to Muskoka Bay every year. It's a great club, great course. Yeah, so they're they're pretty much on uh, they're pretty much on on spec of where yeah so the, the 52 was bang on 52 oh, that, that's cool. maybe a little more upright than than the rest of the iron set okay. on your wedges but can we also check the line i don't know which lie angle is it yeah we'll me? Yeah. we'll check all that sort of stuff we'll see what's going on how long have you been playing nippon in your irons this one yeah like so january and that one, what do you have, 850s? Yeah, 850s in, in the irons and 950s in the wedges? Okay. So that one is, they're yeah, pretty close, 47.5. So one of the things I like about, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right when it comes to comparing loft and line machines analog will always be easier to make one the same as the other. The one good thing about digital though is if you're always comparing on a digital, you can be more precise. Because oh, okay. it's, it's very hard for even the eye to see half a degree, yeah. but we can measure half a degree. So we can leave today with them absolutely perfect. That's the benefit, but the downside is making two machines the same. It's tough. Perfect. Um, for six cents, didn't you say like 31 loft or what? So 13, 59, 34, oh, okay. 5, and so, okay. yeah. So they, they, they be, they're progressing. They are progressing really nicely okay. um, until we get, we get here and then we go from the, the pitch to the 48. It takes a bit of a jump, more, yeah. a little bit more upright. Did you ever find the wedges going a little left compared to the irons? Because that's one thing, when we get more loft, any, any tilt of the loft, yeah. when we have more, it makes a bigger difference. Yeah. Um, you haven't noticed? I haven't. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it'll be interesting to, to once we transition between pitch and four okay. to eight to see what we see. So why don't we? So after I measure this one, why don't we start at this and then work our way down to, to six? So okay. we'll, we'll hit some, we'll hit kind of three solid shots with each one, okay. and then we'll start to map the, the yardages. Yeah, your wedges are really good. So upright for going left. Left. Yeah, little bit left, or just kind of like what we were we were talking about with Tiff. That just the ball starts kind of online and works away from the target a little too much, rather than being able to kind of set it out to the right and turn it. What well, what is your shape, or do you shape it much? Not really. No, pretty neutral. Yeah. Dead straight. Love it. Working on it. I love it. Very cool. What have you got in the driver? The um, sorry, yours is there. The epic flash, sub zero or standard? Uh, the sub zero, but triple diamond. Mm -hmm. I, do you know the diamond? Yeah, thing? yeah. Do you prefer the shape of the diamond? Um, have you seen? Have you? Did you have the original one first, or did or did you have this no, one first? Like first day when we tested, yeah. this one just like. Best number right. with so and that's triple dime as well. Yeah. I'll show you. you it, it's just it's a completely different shape. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I, that's that. Uh, the Callaway guy said this one is like most people using. On tour. On yeah. Tour, so yeah. if you look at so there's the standard Sub Zero. Uh -huh. So you've got the line on the top and completely different oh. shape. So much more rounded. So actually this head's slightly smaller, even though this one looks a bit more compact. Mm -hmm. Looks entirely different, doesn't it? This one looks smaller for me. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But that one's 450, that one's 460. 
It's interesting, but it's, it's if you look at the way the shape goes, so if you look at the way that, look at the back, see how much more narrow that yeah. is at the back and how much more round. So if you dropped both heads in water, this one would take up more cubic centimetres than this one oh. because of the shape. But the footprint is bigger on the, the triple diamond. Interesting. So it's just more like the shape yeah, is different. Yeah, it's, it's just not, the not shape. Really spin rate or stuff or ball flight? They're, they they say that this one is slightly higher spin on the triple diamond, just a little bit, but it's, it's really yeah, it's just a little bit more of a, a neutral head. The triple diamond's a little bit more fade bias uh, as well. So. Charlie dropped my hand. Oh no. You can see all the scratches. Nightmare. You see, drop the, <laughs> the new head on the All right, Matty boy. What uh, what loft you got on the driver there, bud? We've got both. We've got a nine, a nine and a ten five. And they're both. So we're, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll test them both and okay. see what's going on. I'm curious to d dive into the head weights and stuff a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That was um, something Friday night when Larry and I were working with Tiffany. We we kind of were messing around with head weight a little bit and oh yeah. We saw it was at first it was like a three mile an hour change in, in club head speed. That's crazy. Yeah, by going lighter. <clears throat> All right, guys, hopefully the sound levels are a little better now. You'll hear Ian mostly. You won't hear me much except to answer a couple questions. Um, Steve-O. Steve-O, probably about once a season, and possibly twice, depending on where you practice, if you're practicing off. Artificial turf, you may want to get them done a little more often. What was that one? Check. Talking about getting your loft and lies checked. Yeah. yeah. Now, on how far does your 58 go? 75. 75, perfect. So we're going to start with the wedges. Add that, you got great timing. You're right on time, bud. Fifty-eight degree wedge first. Yeah. So the progression, Matty, is fifty-eight, fifty-two, forty-eight, and then we go down into into the irons. Gotcha. So yeah, everything everything specked out good. Okay. We just we saw a little bit of a change in the the lie angles and the wedges were a little more upright than the irons. Right. So we're just we're just you know curious as to whether that's that's going to cause any directional stuff. Gotcha. Okay, now on whenever. Yeah, whenever you're good. Anywhere in there. So yeah, as long as, as long as we're we have that little green light on and anywhere inside that little box, okay. you're good to go. Yeah, let's start off with some full ones. <laughs> I'm going to sneak that back to to 80 yards for you. Very 
very good. Uh, it's a Titleist Pro V1X. Pro V1X. Is that this year's this year's version of Pro V1X? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, this, year. this year's one. So you, yeah, you just go with yeah. it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Can I own one more for me with this? Absolutely, Ricardo. Absolutely. Interesting. So, is that surprising that, that some of those are going a little bit on the long side? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what we'll do is, let's just run through it, yeah. and and we'll just you know work into the next clubs, and then if we see problems where there's separation between clubs, we'll come back and address it. What was the loss for 58? It was perfect. It was it was right on 58. What I would like to do is, so that the single dot sticker Nyon gives us, gives us club speed, angle of attack, um, club path. When it comes to the wedges, I want to come back and put four stickers yeah, on and yeah. then look at dynamic lie angle and make sure we know what's okay. going on, okay? Okay, so this is 52. Okay. Good, really good. Nice, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you were finding, you thought the wedges were spinning a little bit less and launching a bit higher. But the Perry yeah. yeah. Only the wedges. I mean, yeah, so it was like, Tiffany would go, I hit my something, 133, three, and then literally it would go exactly that number. So it was, yeah, other than the wedges. Maybe, maybe if we look at it, I think, I don't know. Well, I mean, I think it comes down to a lot. Maybe we were talking about the, basically the reaction of the ground. So... So if you were to hit off of this surface, right, so very firm, the golf ball wouldn't basically compress from the ground and, and come up. Yeah, so this, this acts like a little bit of a spring. Um, so that's, that's where a little bit of um, launch and spin will change. So let's look at those two. Okay, so both of those, but is that the right gap from, from roughly what you, you thought it was? 95 and 75 you thought it was? 20-ish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Sure. You've got a little bit more speed. Yeah, let's hit one more and then we'll go to 48. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah, I also have 48. 
Yeah. So the pitching wedge is a little bit stronger uh, in loft. So Nyon's pitching wedge was 44.5. Yeah, your lofts are weaker. Um, yeah, Tiffany's wedges are, or all her clubs are, are a little bit weaker. I think you're a little bit, yeah, I think you were maybe 46 uh, as opposed to. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's too low and release. Even right now, her iron like release like double. Yeah, I mean you've got you've got kind of a couple of different ways you can make the ball go up. And, and with your irons, the AF tours they don't really have any kind of face technology to make the ball go quicker. So you have to do it through launch and spin, not speed. So it, it just depends. Your irons are a little bit different uh, in that they have a little bit more face technology. Uh, and that your ball speed's going to be a little bit quicker off the apex face than off Tiffany's. So... <laughs> right, what, uh, what's your number on, on this one? 105? So we would probably, based on what we've seen, like 110. 110, yeah, probably. We'll see. They're doing exactly the same thing, aren't they? Okay, let's let's with this one. I'm, it's the first one really that's kind of had any kind of offline. To the to the direction, so let's let's throw the other three stickers on. Okay. Let's see the lie angle. I want to see dynamic lie angle and see if it's if that's contributing towards it. So we were there. One oh seven uh, was was our average carry there. What's that? What well, what historically has been the best part of your game? What do you think? Best part? Mm hmm I don't know what's my best part. Okay. Yeah, sometimes a good question for someone else to... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. Sometimes someone else's perspective is... What do you think? I think... I don't know. Yeah. Cutting? Yeah. I think iron shots always been... If... I hit fairway. Right. <laughs> um, we got to get you in the fairway to take yeah, advantage of those irons. High percentage get birdies. Yeah. Proximity is pretty good. I think it's... Yeah. I 
think because I really like my five hybrids. Yeah. So <laughs> if I say if I add more distance for my six iron, then kind of struggle with my gap between. Yeah, the six your gap and yeah, so yeah. make sure I that's. Never really tried to go hit further. Sure. Than whatever I do. I mean, when when you hit it as precise as you do, it, it's just about it's all about gapping. It's not about the number. It's just yeah, the gap, yeah, yeah. you know, and because you'll just move to the next one. Okay. Do people usually have like two, uh, ten yards between pots, like iron? Yeah, ten yeah. Yards? It depends. It depends how far you your it stretch is. So if if the driver or whatever the longest iron is, depends how far that goes. So the longest club to the shortest. And then obviously we have those two distances and then we basically chop it up uh, the whole way. So like yours the other night, Tiffany, was interesting. Your gaps are, are narrower than I would expect them to be. You were like nine yards between clubs and you know, sometimes people are at 10, some, sometimes they're 11. You take Cameron Champ, between his irons, he's 15 yards between each club, sometimes even more. So it just depends on the speed. Okay, let's see a few more with this. Interesting. So the so the lie angle is, is contributing a little bit towards this this little bit of uh, a drift to the right. So if you look at your face angle, basically it's it's zero. Um, so your face is relative to your to your path. So your path is a little into out. The face angle is basically right at your target, but your toe is coming in a little bit down. Like this. So that's that's what's tilting the basically that the shot is just a touch to the right. Okay. So um, we'll, we'll just keep an eye on that because it, it's, it's doing the same thing every single time. Uh, just very, very small, two, two degrees, two and a half degrees. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so oh, sorry, pal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So same, same thing on that one. Two point six, ever so slightly toe down. Um, like when I take a video, swing video. Mm -hmm. Can also see it, my hands coming a little bit closer. Yeah, coming up a little yeah. bit. Yep. Because of it, it can, yeah, yeah. So there's 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 some some vertical forces that are going on there. So so on on sort of the way through, it's very common uh, for the handle to come up a little bit. Um, so it, it it might be one of the reasons why. You know, we will look at it with the driver. It might be something that's caused a little bit of face rotation with the driver and uh, that sort of thing. But okay, let's have a look at this one. What are you looking at with this one? 44.5, yeah. And what, what, 115? Mm. Yeah. Right.
my nine iron goes like 130. Right, so okay. I thought there's a little gap. Yeah, there, yeah, for sure. Lock. So I make a little bit stronger lock mm -hmm. in winter. Yeah. It goes a little bit further, which that's why I thought by pushing it like 43. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And it's sort of in that off season, did you work in some speed things and did you work on, uh, like I saw you warming up with super speed, is that part of your routine? Not, not really. Not too I much. I did a little bit in winter because okay. the weather was so cold, <laughs> but like, I don't carry anything stuff. Yeah, okay, no worries. So there's a, there's a really good indication as to the difference between the face on, on that one. Obviously the loft is playing a part as well, but if you look at your delivery, your delivered speed mm -hmm. is exactly the same gap wedge to, or 48 to pitch and wedge, but obviously um, change in technology, slight reduction in loft, three and a half degrees. So you are getting a lot more out of it. So if we look at the distance, is that a little bit more than you would like in terms uh, of a no, gap? Like, let's say my wedge is going like four or five yards going further yeah. than here, then pitching wedge might be the same. Yeah, which true. Is like mm -hmm. So five. we'll focus more on the gap rather than even the, the number. Yeah, um, that, that's okay because I can control like, like soft to shot with the pitching mm -hmm. wedge, but those last three with the pitching wedge, I tried a little bit like hard. Yeah, some, yeah. Because I want to hit like 120 carry. Got it. So. Maybe I'll just try like more like regular speed and see it. So for sure, one. for sure, because okay. Every time, like last 10 years, I have a, if I say, if I have an issue for the distance, it's yeah. only pitching wedge going shorter. Yeah, so, yeah, not too, yeah. yeah, not going further. Yeah. This is interesting as well, and, and I'll just keep a little eye on the, the spin difference. So if we look at all your clubs so far, you know, not, not much of a spin difference between those two, then about, 900 between those two and then a big gap uh, between between those two so that one would would sort of maybe make us wonder sometimes if, if the the fairways are wet or if there's you know you're playing in, in bad conditions and we lose friction and spin mm -hmm. do we start hitting the, the inconsistent distances with that that's a little bit low for uh, for pitching wedge so we'll keep an eye on it okay. That was nice. Okay. That was that was a little higher, seventy six. How's the, the feed? Okay. Everything's good. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it is mind blowing to watch the same distances and the striking. It's so consistent. It's insane. The difference is insane. Interesting to see the wedge flight be quite low relative to most players that, that we that you see, right? Myself included. Yeah, and, and that's the one thing people people forget when it comes to wedges is, is how much the spin pulls the flight down and, yeah. and what spin does. Everyone think spin makes a ball go up, spin pulls a ball down. Yeah. And, and when you see Nyon's kind of flight with that, it's just, it's, it's so much different yeah. because you apply a lot of spin to those wedges, especially the 52, that, so that 52 spins a lot. 52. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, let's hit some nines. What, uh, what shafts were in those wedges for? So the wedges was Nippon NS Pro 950s and in the irons it's 850s. Okay, gotcha. Wait, so wedges are regular though. So yeah, so heavier, softer, and then, yep. then 850 stiffs. Stiff. Yeah, gotcha. Even the shaft I changed this year, I used to have an 850 regular. 
Regular, yeah. Did you find you were a little bit more, a little better flight, a little more stable flight with those, or what did you find similar? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. It just that that pitching wedge is is, is bugging me now um, because yeah yeah because looking at where your nine iron is exactly where it needs to be, um, but your your nine iron is coming out the same as your your pitching wedge, which is kind of this should be eighty one hundred, yeah. right? So this one's great, that one's great, this one's just coming out what, low for what some reason. Like what makes the ball go like low speed? Yeah, I mean it, it's it's not what we what we would normally think because obviously the speed the spin creators are speed, loft, angle of attack, face, a friction between face and ball. There has to be something on that face that's creating less friction. So the ball is basically coming off the face with, with not enough uh, friction. So it's, it's the only thing that's left when I, when I look at everything else and what's going on, it's the only thing left that it can be is a lack of friction between club face and ball. Um, very interesting. Okay, let's have a few more. One more. Where have you been getting the clubs built? Have you, have you been getting them direct from Callaway? A um, little bit I did when I tested with them in January. Yeah. And I just moved to Las Vegas. Okay. So I found the one shop in Vegas, all the guys going in there. Yeah. But like I said, they use the digital, digital yeah, yeah. loft and line. Mm -hmm. And they try to precise every club, but when I checked my loft, mm -hmm. was it quite strong? Sorry, it, it wasn't strong at the, at the first time. Yeah. And then the ball was not going far enough. Mm -hmm. So I came back there like after two, three days. Yeah, and then yeah. it shows it two degrees stronger. Really? And like, I just can't like really trust it. Yeah, yeah, you just lost trust in the numbers. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I mean, that's when that happens, you, you do you know lose trust in the numbers. and. It's something we do have to tell our guys all the time. Like every single time you, you use that thing, club to club, reset, reset every single time. Okay. The thing is, I researched all the data mm -hmm. last two years. So I just tried to compare that whenever I go to the fitting club. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool clubs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just try to match with the location. Right. How far does eight? What's your number? 140. 
take away or So, <clears throat> yeah, li little drop and spin again. So again, nine hundred is not it's not crazy, but it does it, it carries your number. Okay. It's uh, it's pretty much exactly on where uh, where you want to be. Um, I would say, if anything, at times it looks like you could potentially do with a little bit more shaft weight, a little bit. There's, there's a little waving of, of the, the, the direction from time to time, and it looks like you could, you could maybe try something around. I mean, heavier. Like, and I'm talking like five grams, seven grams, something just to, because when I, when I look at you hitting those wedges, and they're just, they're, they're just dead on, and th there's, a, there's a cadence, there's like a rhythm to your wedge swing that slightly changes when you get into the, the, uh, the irons. And normally when, when there's a, an effect and rhythm and timing, normally the reason for that's weight. So uh, I, would, I would say at some point, whenever you get, whenever you get back to wherever your you know, closest center for testing is, I'll, I'll send you a few shafts to try. There's a few, uh, Shimada do some really good stuff at 90 grams, 92, 93 grams. Oh, so you mean like not even NS Pro? Yeah, no, you could definitely try like, oh, okay. you could definitely try like 950s. Do they have a 90? Is it new? They, they have a bunch of new ones around that weight. You, there's, a, there's also one called V90, um, which is slightly a fraction lower torque than uh, the 950. Um, so there's, there's a couple uh, that, that would definitely be worth trying, but there's a subtle enough change to the timing that that would be, uh, that would be worth testing with. Yeah, maybe. yep, pretty much. Faster than what I remembered. So 70, oh, okay. 70, 79 on the last okay. one. I got it. Yeah. I think it ju there, there was one that I deleted. There was one that went a little bit left, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was that was the 81 80. for sure. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. All right. Looks like good, though. My, when I played it well, mm -hmm. I think Was it really? But still, yeah. the distance was the same. Sure. Oh, really? The distance was the same, even though speed was down a little bit? Interest. I'm going to run through lengths and swing weights in a second. The um, seven in pitch and wedge are your, your two practice clubs? Uh, Looking at the... the oh, usually? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like to practice yeah. with those? Pitching, I, I hate pitching at every single Okay. <laughs> you know, Who doesn't? Right? I know. <laughs> I know. So Vegas is home now. What's your home course there? TBC.
wing. Really good. Okay. Those three looked looked really nice. Really, really nice. It's interesting just to watch <clears throat> as your um, as your sort of ball speed changes. Let's just go over. So watching the apex just change ever so slightly, so it's just creeping up a little bit. So on that last one's probably about as high as we've hit it today, 91 feet. Um, yeah, yeah, really good. The first two with the seven iron was a little bit low left. Yeah. That's what I felt. And, and did you say you felt that a little bit with the irons recently? Let's see. Yeah. It's been a little bit lower um, days. Mm -hmm. But hitting it more solid. And then my impact position on video is much more compressed in my good. hands. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would be. That would be fairly low, fairly low spin, um, sort of indicating that we are getting the handle forward a so good I amount. Thought when I have like low spin, I thought my loft is stronger. Yeah, but it's more your impact yeah. rather than your yeah. static loft. Um, right now, I mean, your your land angles are, are, are good, so okay. your, your angle of descent and stuff is, is is pretty good. Now, obviously, on certain courses where it's a bit more severe. Uh, very firm greens. Sure, you might have to sort of, you know, pick and choose your pins to attack and, and that sort of thing. But yeah. for the most part, th this this shouldn't prevent you from from uh, going at any okay. any flags. Let's go to six. I feel like I'm hitting a little bit here. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try six. Ian, are you able to pull up the uh, page you had before that you were talking about? Was that seven iron? Uh, yep. After? So just um, that yeah, one? Yeah, that's, that's, let me just... Uh, People can see those numbers. Gray is the average, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to switch this to six. What is uh, 160? Swing there, really good. Yeah, I think it must be this uh, Canadian air or something like that. It's making you swing faster. swing. Okay, let's do one more. I'm going to take out the first two, just the last two are much better.
Really good. Yeah, that was flying a little further too. <clears throat> so 82 and a half club, 114 ball speed, super efficient. Delivered loft, so I mean that's, that's dynamic. Um, so sort of launch, so you're de uh, delivered loft going to be around 22, 23. So that's quite a lot of forward shaffling. It's pretty good. So this will be interesting to see how this transition works because we, we do have a little bit of a gap between where that seven was carrying and obviously where six is there. So I'm really curious to see where hybrid sits in and kind of especially as, as the favorite club. Maybe this one's just actually sneaking a little too far. But let's see. Are all your hybrids, are they all the tailor-made one or just that five? It's all the same. They're all the same. Them. But this one I actually used for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And these two have been only like not okay. even a year. Oh, really? Yeah. You managed to find, find well, more? Those three the, I got at the, like 10 years ago yeah. in, from Japan. You're right. And I used only this one. Only that one? You kept these ones? Before this, we had the same but blackhead. Yeah. I used for those for three and four for right, nine right. years. And then it just looks too old and sharp to got like a lot of damage. Yeah. So just changed it. Change them. Okay. Yeah, I'll pop a little sticker so on those ones. So basically this one, I can hit like carry 175. Okay. So if anything, I can hit a little bit further with this, like two, three more yards, that'd be perfect. Because it's hard to control with the mm. 62, three, if I have to hit carry. Yeah. So I can hit uh, like 65 to 75, mm -hmm. but between 60 to 65, yeah. if I have to hit, then either I have to go 65 shot and mm -hmm. just hit it a little bit Long, the pin. yeah. Or if the shot's better, then I just hit it this hit one. Hit that one. Hard. Interesting. Were you surprised how far six went there? I'm sorry. Were you surprised at how far your six iron was going? Today? Yeah. Literally, was that? Yeah. 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 That was interesting. That was. I mean, it was one six four, one six five. It was. Carry, right? Yeah. 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 Is this a, like you just wrote down? So these are all, the yeah, so these are all the carry numbers as we've, as we've, okay. as we've went along. But so six, yeah, six iron goes a like, little so bit further? This one's the only one that's, because this was where I expected every, every yardage to go. And then, so this one was the only one that so far has went further. So as a little bit of a gap. So okay. if, we, if we look at it on here, once we do our little reporting. So if we go... Look at the carry number, so 130, 140, 150, 164. Okay. Interesting. So once we do five hybrid, it'll be uh, it'll be good to see the gap. Okay. So everyone know this is this is Nyon's favourite club in the bag. What is this? this is the five five hybrid that she's had for ten years. It's a tailor made. It's a tailor made. It was, it was yeah, it's just called Rescue. Rescue. Yeah. The first time they come up with a white cat. It's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So the first one, the first one was just a little pulley. Yeah, the next two were perfect.
<laughs> so straight. <laughs> no wonder That's it's your so favourite club. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> Three identical. Um, okay. I mean, according to what we see here, the spacing's pretty good. I mean, this this might be a little bit. They, they might have been three really good ones, yeah. and a bit further than normal. So you know whether we take the full yardage there, but the, the gap in looks good. So even if this is one sixty, call it maybe one sixty, one six two, that might be yeah. fair. Yeah. Uh, that would be a nice gap up to one seven six. Um, it's good. I mean, little increase obviously in, in kind of. Ball speed up to one twenty. Launch is fine. Spin is interesting between those two. Very similar uh, between between those, but that's that's the change in profile going into the the lower profile head uh, with the with the hybrid. I like it. That's good. Yeah, and that, one's that one's not changing. No. <laughs> yeah, they need to come up with something really special to to change like change that it. one. Kind of straight line here, but it's very like straight there, isn't it? Ways, like yeah. Really round. What did you, have you seen their new one, Epic Flash? I mean, some of their new their new head shapes are they might they, you might like them a little bit more. So, um, so this this is this is one of their new ones. So this I is Apex. Like this is yeah, it's higher here and there. I don't like. It's a bit more. Do you remember? Do you remember the Adams um, yeah, yeah, hybrid? Yeah, more like driving iron. A little, yeah, a little more boxy, a little very square. Uh, whereas obviously you've you've got much more rounded sort yeah. of edges and stuff like that. We just gotta find you more of these. I had a few new head I bought from eBay. <laughs> but I tried to match same with the same shop. Yeah, yeah. Like Didn't feel the same. It's always it's always so difficult when you find clubs that you love and you know there's a, a timeline on, on how long yeah. you can use them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Use it till there's a hole in the face. How far does this one go? Okay. This is the stronger hybrid, though? Yeah, this is four, four hybrid, 21 degrees okay. in the loft. <clears throat> so the last one was 23.5, but was turned up uh, to higher settings, so it was actually 24.5. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's really, really good. <laughs> so good. When you went to cool clubs or anywhere, did they take did they take like a detailed spec clubs like the frequency, the the swing weight, all the all the detailed weights? So yeah, it's, like swing weight, yeah. Length. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
that was it. They sometimes they use this C CPM, CPM. yeah, so driver, cool. More like driver. <clears throat> so that that's that's one of the things when you when you mentioned that you had your hybrids, but when they built them, they didn't feel the same. Normally, what that means is they they never quite match the same okay. flex uh -huh. through the CPM, uh -huh. um, and and kind of they weren't built quite the same. So um, sometimes that can can make it a tough match, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get it like that. But yeah, your 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 hybrids are okay. are fantastic, really really strong. Yeah, what uh, eighteen on the three hybrid? Yeah, I think I remember that one was eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah. So so that one's turned up uh, one one click, which is. Say it's 18.5. The, the old sleeve, yeah. yeah. Doesn't says like minus or plus. I yeah, it just says high. What is it? Uh, left and right? I'm not sure. The original one said, I think it said left. Yeah, so it was only a one degree sleeve. So, so yours is on basically half a degree extra loft. So this one is 18.5. Your 25 is 24.5. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That was standard, yeah. It's good though, swing looks good. Really good. My attack angle was a really, um, how can I say, high. Like, I am sometimes get like minus seven. Yeah, so getting a little bit steep. So, yeah, so yeah. I have a lot of work on more ladder movement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It definitely. I mean, you've been, you've, you've certainly not been too steep today. Um, your delivery. So, yeah, even with wedges, five, you know, five and a half. I mean, those, those are not high at all. Really good. Seven starts to shallow out, 3.9, six at 3.5. It's excellent. It's really, really good stuff. I'd like to see you with the driver. Yeah, so Normally, we'll. I, I never really get like minus three or four. Right. Usually zero. Okay. And On Trackman? Yeah. yeah. So, so Trackman in, in, in GC Quad read a little bit differently. So, if you're zero on Trackman, you're probably plus two, oh, plus right. 2.5 in GC Quad. Okay. Any questions coming in? in, in anyone? Just people watching and watching in awe of the street yes. ball flights, basically. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? What shafts are in those hybrids? So it's a, it's, it's a J-spec Japanese um, graphite design. So there's a lot of different graphite design products that never make their way to North America. So this one is designed by SF. It's like a six soft regular. So. Huh. Yeah, just just a line that we've we've never had over here. Interesting. How did that one feel? The last one was good. Um, I mean, it's it is interesting. The the ball flight, the ball flight has come down a little bit with this one. So there's been a, a ten foot drop in height between your your uh, four hybrid and your three hybrid. So if you look at where five hybrid was at ninety feet. Four hybrid was 87 feet, and then this one has has dropped down a little bit. Is this the, maybe first one? the first one was a bit low, and then after that, so the last one was good. It dropped down in the launch quite a bit. Did you hit it a little low in the head? I was a little bit thin. Yeah, 
that's, that's what brought the launch down and kicked the spin up. Okay, let's hit, let's hit a few more with this one. So the only thing with quad nylon is just the, uh, if there's another ball on the, on the mat, it, it can't see that one. So that one just, it never, never registered it, okay. Interesting. So really the first time we've seen any kind of a, like everything else has made sense. This was the first one that kind of we would have a question mark against. Um, it probably looks like we've, let's see what the club head speed is compared to. Yeah, so it's a little bit quicker in speed. We're just not quite as efficient uh, with this one. So that carry, that carry number doesn't, doesn't sort of increase. Um, have you ever carried five wood? Mm, never. Never? Right, only when I was junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks to me like in order to get what we need out of it, which is a little bit more ball speed and... We need it, you mean? Yeah, okay. yeah. So when we've got a nice kind of four mile an hour separation between four and five, even if I change it to like more stronger log, it might go more down. It, it will go more down. So it, that will probably go up a little yeah. bit, but the ball flight will come down and we'll start to, we'll start to you know, create a little bit of a, a small issue. So if we look and just look at these two, mm -hmm. so we can see they're, they're a little bit too Not close. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're three hybrid has more side, what's the side the angle there? So basically start line. Right, so average start line, so it's a little bit more to the right. right. Um, so that to me is where I think of potentially looking at uh, like a, an 18 or an 18 degree five would, uh, would, would make a lot of sense at that point. And actually you would start to increase a little bit of height. Um, so you've got, you know, some of those par fives, you know, you've got a little bit more stopping power um, from having a slightly higher ball flight because of the wider body on the five wood. Um, so that might be something to talk to, to Callie about. I'll, I'll leave a little note okay. um, that a five wood could be the answer what just to create. Like needed, 18? So the Callaway one now obviously comes with the adjustable sleeve. Okay. So it comes at 18. Uh, so you can turn it 18, 19 or 20. Okay. So you can, you can play with it and, and get exactly where you need to. So the uh, five wood has, a, if say, has the same 18 degree mm -hmm. A little bit longer, yeah, yeah. So that 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 would be the the answer to getting that a little bit further. Definitely. That was well hit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah one, I think that was 195-ish on the cap. But then it starts to look like a three wood. Yeah, so the launch scary. and spin and, and you know, they come down enough that we start to see that, that just drop too much. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave a little note on that one. Having that Diamana B. Yeah. 
So this is Epic Flash Sub Zero. Okay, we've got D. Is that a three wood you got there? Yep, yep, 15 degree, okay. set neutral standard. We've got Mitsubishi Diamana B plus, which was sort of the, well, it's not B plus, just, just the B. So this was sort of next generation blue board. Gotcha, the one after. Mm -hmm. Did you um, think the standard Epic Flash and the five would, would be probably the best choice? Yeah. Just yeah, get a little bit more launch on it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be that would be really really nice. It's just just looking at where the the ball speed and then where the launch and spin were going. Yeah, they were just kind of just falling off a little bit too much. So that ball speed has to then be the dominant yeah. factor that creates the up. Because um, the the four and the five were so good. So good. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. And then the three just wasn't enough of a, a difference to separation. Warrant being there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um, do you want to do Matt first, then we'll do off the tee? Okay. Uh, Really good. How did those three feel? Not too bad? How would those compare to sort of how you would normally expect them to carry? And this one goes far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is a there is a good size gap there, isn't there? I normally hit like two ten, two fifteen carry with a three on the, yeah. on the, on the uh, ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on the tee, I carry a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah. just because you can get that launch angle up yeah. a little bit more, yeah, yeah. start to take advantage of that. Um, yeah. I mean, on delivery, interesting. So. I'm sure in the past you've not always been as shallow as that. So you've done such a nice job of shallowing that out because shallowing it will help you retain the loft to make sure that that three wood just doesn't fly too flat. Okay. So that's, that's really, really good on the delivery. You're really efficient with it. I love to see this. And this is why I think the, the cl uh, club head speed takes a really nice little jump between three hybrid and, and three wood, obviously taking advantage of the length. But that's that's another reason I think five wood will sit really Should nicely I go in the there. Same shaft as this one. Yeah, then? yeah, you could definitely, uh, you definitely could match those two up um, for sure. Just like same shaft and just maybe more tip cut or something like that with a five hybrid. Yeah, I mean, be because of the shaft. head weight. Yeah, the head weight will be a little bit heavier, so you'll probably want to have it tipped another extra half inch, um, just to make sure that the CP. But again, that's. When you have someone building it, they would basically go, okay, let's take the frequency of your three wood and let's just match it up. Let's tip trim it until we match up the frequency and we basically get them uh, where they need to be. Um, so, OEMs don't really check CPMs. Yeah, that's, that's something really that's only done by shops like us and cool clubs. And yeah, let's, I'll get, get you some little teas. Perfect. Perfect. I'll just move this back a little bit. I wasn't hungry, but it's getting warm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Making you work. All right, Ian's taking a two-second break, so you're stuck with me for a minute. Apparently exploded everyone's eardrums. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> when so I mute went to mute your mic, but I think you went and put it off. Oh, so when no. you go off, it just spits out like <laughs> as much as static. Sorry, folks. Bandit's handling all the uh, complaints. Bandit's. Yeah. <laughs> After he made his own. Uh, there was a couple of those on the the Oakmont video. I don't know if it, maybe it was spikes? the mic. I think the mic yeah. was maybe too close to my shirt or something, but. Well, it, can, it can be the wire rustling. It's, oh, really? it's a finicky game, miking. I just, I was just thinking there. We um, let's pop even just just to try and see how the ball flight changes. Let's pop that on your three wood shaft, uh, just to test it, and I, I wouldn't mind seeing how that how that flight is. Um, let's see those. Only last one. Just the last one. Okay. So last one, yeah, so the last one spun up a little bit more. Or the T versus not on the T. Yeah, 
Yeah, so exactly that. So a little higher launch, a little lower spin. Very similar on speed. I mean, that's, that's good to see. But you just carry it that little bit further. Yeah, you can turn it over a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And, and I love that little kind of height separation. So um, 80 feet versus 70 feet, basically. So a little bit of height difference. No, that's, that's really good to see. Yeah, three wood looks good. Looks, looks really nice. Let, let's pop that shaft onto the five. What are you, sorry, what are you doing now? So we're just going to do a little uh, test because we were talking about that, that three hybrid. Yeah. Um, are you looking at a five wood? We're going to look at five wood. Yeah. I figured you would. There's, there was a few people that weren't sure you're going to. I said, I'm sure he'll get to yeah. it. <laughs> so that is a, a uh, epic flash five wood head, mm -hmm. not the sub-zero. Yeah, go ahead. Is that 18 degrees, but Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start at 18. Obviously, the ability to turn it up, down. Gotcha. Okay, let's try this one. <clears throat> yeah, maybe just a little bit now, and that'd be perfect. So this one, if we said about 200, maybe just a little bit more. So that's that's a little bit more like like the numbers. So a little bit more speed. Similar in launch and spin, it just it just goes a little bit a little bit more through the ball speed. Yep. Exactly. Those two were perfect, so much better. Just looks easier for you to get that flight, whereas I kind of with the three hybrid, we were, you know, I know you were kind of almost trying to play with your, your the height a little bit on it, but it's just easy to do it with the five wood. I know, yeah, so that one now is called Blue Force. So now it looks like this. So that's, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, B. So that one's, uh, yeah. Yeah, Kylie was. Kylie, I used the Kylie for like 10 years. Really? Such a good flight. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll have another gear with this one if you want it. Um, I mean, if you can get a little bit more speed out of it. It's really, really good. I just love the height it's going. So that was 91 feet there. That was as high as any, any iron we hit at any point. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, and that was the one problem we were having with the three hybrid is it was just dipping down a little bit. Your five was good. Yep, five hybrids at 90, four hybrid at 87, 
and then we dipped on the three hybrid, but this one's back up at 89. So if we use those three, if we went three hybrid, four hybrid, sorry, five, four into five wood, we would be a little bit closer to the spacing that we're looking for. As you say, you're able to turn the fairway woods over a little bit more, but see the ball speed difference? What if you try to go like 19 degrees? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you want to knock it? Let's try it. That feel like it may be just be a little bit too hot. Yeah. I don't think I can control um, my same as my three hundred. Yeah. Especially more like, you know, like, like um, maybe, what, what was the spin difference, three hybrid and five? The, the spin basically, the three hybrid was, was acting like the three wood. Remember, we were saying it was like mid three. Yeah, it was similar to this, but this one has the extra launch angle and uh, more ball speed. I think what you might end up finding is you know, how you were saying with the three wood at times you find it, it's like low and it's tough. You may end up going, okay, I don't, don't really feel like that lie is good for a three wood. Yeah, I'll go to five wood. Yeah. Okay, let's pop this to 19. Texting Jenny. Running in the gym. Maybe if it is all the dessert we have and lunch. Ugly face, yeah, pretty flight. <laughs> yeah, so this big difference in the spike on, uh, on spin there. good isn't it that is good how quick click in the Callaway rep get you a five wood yeah, I mean he's a here so okay I don't think I can get by this week but mm -hmm. definitely I can get next week okay Which that's is, good I asked him um, yeah see what he if he has any uh, right. yeah yeah um, and he he'll obviously he, he knows all the contacts and stuff um so obviously we can we can talk to to Mitsubishi as well and you know if they, they they'll have inventory of that one for sure mm -hmm. I'm sure the last time I asked him about the like driver shafts and Diamana stopped giving the shaft to Callaway interesting so huh. I don't know because this is the only last the last one yeah on the, on the W and I changed this one like a month ago right so you put that one in a month ago yeah. Interesting. Have you done any testing with the new ones, with, with the, the Blue Force or the, the, uh, the DF? No. Okay. Well, that Before I changed it to this one, mm -hmm. I used the A 480VR. Yep. Yeah. Yep, the new one by Graphite Design. Okay. All right, let's test this one. You cold, Tiff? It's cold, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's always cold. Are you cold, Naomi? When, and when you're hitting, it's fine. Um, our receptionist, Rosanna, is always frozen. <laughs> Without the rain? Any other questions from the, the guys? Um, no, I think mostly we're just watching. Watching that five wood versus the three. That was hybrid, better, was wasn't quite, it? Quite good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. You can just see that there's a point where it's like lower, lower, lower. It happens all the time with with you know our customers yeah, in their would. longest iron. So normally they they use one iron too many. Yeah, so yeah. they'll be like you know six, five, four, and it just drops off. You Shouldn't just you, you know that's the point at which they they need to mm. flip over into into the hybrid. Gotcha. So yeah, I put so I put everything on. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the full full story with this one. Yeah, this yeah. Okay. That was good there, Neon. That was really nice. That's too low. No, no, that one was okay. First one was a little low in the head. That was a little higher, a little out to the toe. First one was just a little healy. Yeah. Okay. Little toy, yeah. It's actually for, for being a, a bit of a toe strike, it was really stable normally. We would expect to see that one turn over a bit more, but it was good. So let me see. So your delivery is your delivery is good. So three point two degrees up. Uh, you're delivering. You could be a, have a, you could deliver a fraction more loft. Okay. Um, so right now you're launching this at twelve. Yeah, twenty five hundred. So yeah, I suppose in, in an ideal world we would like to get that get that up a little bit higher than that. Then the thing may go to upper too. So. Yeah, normally if you, 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 you just put more loft on it, we will kick both of those up. It's pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, we'd rather be sort of 13, 14.
Is that a better strike? Okay, still a little on the toe side, but a little higher. Yep. Mm -hmm. Launch was good. Launch was up, spin was down. To be honest, if we could take those numbers and just, that would be pretty much perfect. Well, 14-4, yeah. So what did you change? Did you just change a little bit of your sort of where your, your tilt was for delivered loft? Yeah. Looked like you changed something to deliver more loft. <laughs> it's good. Whatever you changed is, it worked. So if we look at the first few So we look at the loft, it was 16.5, 15.8, 16.4, then... That's, that's why my loft ended up at impact. Yes, yeah. So then you change, you, you hit... On the last one, you hit up on it a little more, you delivered a little more loft, brought the, the, the launch angle up and it brought the spin rate down. What about the carry distance? Good, yeah, your carry distance increased. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Spin was a little bit higher there. Yeah, it was good. Just a little, little open face. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, right now, it's looking like it would be really tough to, to beat the nine. Look at those are, I just, it's more this, isn't it? It's just super straight, um, which is fantastic. So any more loft is probably going to just, it, it might make you default back into hitting slightly more down again because you see some yeah, loft. Yeah. Uh, that would be my that, only that thing. That was a um, kind of strategy to change more loft and then I can hit it more to the yeah. left. And yeah. And, and you wanted to do a bit more of that? Yeah, you did? Like, in the tournament, my bad tendency, like, yeah. my is, like, hanging back and... To like, tilt, yeah. yeah, got it. It is interesting how you sort of, um, as you progress from... Mm -hmm. So you're generally into out with all your irons. Then when it comes to the hybrids, it gets really neutral. And then when it comes to sort of driver, the movement pattern creates a little bit of a change of path. So that's where subtly the, the loft is, the loft goes from reducing because your path is into out, so you lose the loft, to now you're hanging on to the loft a little bit because your path is out to in. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit of a, a change. And that's why, you know, we're, we're trying to add loft with the five wood, but we're trying to take loft away with the driver purely because of that. All right, let's throw 10-5 on. Thank you. I think the weather looks pretty good for the week, doesn't it? It looks like it's going to, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I don't think it's going to be uh, any issues at all. Thank you. So this is the one I dropped. Yeah, but this one I dropped last week. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Oh, no. So where is it after here? Where's the next uh, one? Portland. Oh, nice. Yeah, my, one of my favorites. Yeah, that'll be nice. Interesting. So <clears throat> I just noticed this. See the little red, mm -hmm. the little red. So that's uh, that's what we'd call a tour sleeve. So red sleeves are flatter lie angles. Oh, Green okay. sleeves are upright lie angles. So that one's 
it's one of the two are a little bit flatter. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm might be up, up. For it because I'm yeah, no, you're, I mean, your, your dynamic lie angle is okay. Okay. So it's, uh, that, that, believe it or not, with a driver is, is not bad at all. So the driver sits way more toe up at a dress than, than irons and uh, wedges and stuff anyway. So seven degrees, not high. Okay. What's the shaft uh, in the driver? Then? It's Diamana W, so basically second generation whiteboard. Or no, third I generation. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Yeah, a little bit more tip stiff. Yeah. What were you saying about the, that sleeve is flatter than a standard sleeve? Yeah, so the um, so Callaway have Callaway I always identify their upright clubs with green kind of green dot and green paint. Yep. So if you look on, see on there. Oh, cool. Just a tiny little little red. That's obviously a tour truck paint. only kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yep. Very cool. Okay. All right. Okay. How did you hit that one? Good. Yeah, so launch has just came up a little bit. Let's look at the height. They look, they actually look amazingly similar, other than just a little bit of a spin difference with the nine. A little bit quicker with the nine as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that one there is where you'll see, on a little miss like that, you'll see the spin kick up to 32, 33. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. I mean, you can carry three wood that far. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think stick with the nine. Yeah, gamers look look good. Let's let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at the irons.
Get it. That's good. Eye on that's your three wood. Is that more the miss side with the driver on the left? Yeah. Yep. So I think what's What's kind of been going on is when you change and, and that, that path changes to being slightly out to in. So you kind of get the path goes from being mostly in to out to going slightly out to in. Then the face gets square to that path with a little toe strike. And, and, and that's, that's what, so the ball starts a little bit left and then just turns a touch. So I think if you can almost get, get a little bit more of a feel for that path, coming a little bit more into into out, you'll influence that start line to be a little bit more right side rather than than left because I know that is more than you, you would like to curve it and it's more than you normally do, but the bigger problem is actually the start line rather than the curve. Yeah. So just because it starts left, if you were able to offset so that and start it right, you'd be fine. What about like, um, normally I'm hitting on the toe. Yeah which is ball can go this way. Absolutely. So with the driver, should mm. I try more focus on out to in path or just to hit it to the more to the right? Yeah, I would, I would for, for the way you you're basically shape every other club in your bag, which is very straight to a slight draw, I would, I would play for a little bit more into out uh, and just let that turn back a little bit. Hit a couple, let's, let's see what it does. So let's change, so on the start line, let's go slightly right. To go that way. So would you, would you rather we played with the weights a little bit and neutralized the face? Because if we move that weight to the toe a little bit, we can then put the weight behind the strike. Yeah, yeah, because that will, that will stabilize the strike a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, because you fear hanging back and flipping at it. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's play with that weight a little bit and then you just stay yeah, so turning on it. And you stay more on the left side and then holding the club face. So let's do that. Because if we can slow down the rotation of the of the the face, we should basically make this just go very straight.
Still a little toe side. Mm -hmm. So that was, it was actually, a, the, the, probably the dominant feel was just a slightly low on the strike. So six millimeters low, four millimeters in the toe. Okay, let's hit one more. Okay, so let's bring that, that weight back a little bit because that, that weight is really sort of reduced the, the rotation. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Because I'm thinking if I'm hitting on toe with the driver and out to in, which is even if I'm doing this, I think that it will measure like that way. Right? Say that again. So if I'm a little bit hanging back, <clears throat> coming down a little bit, scooping like yeah. this, it will still show out to in pass mm -hmm. on toe and ball starting left. Yeah, so it, it's tracking. It's tracking, obviously, you know, this, these guys. So basically, the, these these reflective dots that we see. So it's tracking the movement of those within the within the hitting sort of zone, um, sort of looking at. It. So it's taking multiple pictures as the driver's coming in. So it basically sees your driver right now coming sort of in, sort of that way. Okay, so slightly, slightly out to in, slightly up, with a little bit of a toe strike. A little this bit way, that way. That's why well, for, for what you described to me today, so for the longest time, you've been covering and getting forward, right? So getting too much that way. So you've been obviously shallowing, but you've still got a little bit of that going on yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with the delivery. Yeah. So if I, I think I need to do this more for my swing, real like coming out this yeah. way. Yeah. And like a little bit forward. My... See the, fir the first five or six swings, were, were really, really good. We just, we just had... You mean with the driver? Yeah, with the driver, we're really, really good. We just had a little bit too, kind of almost too neutral of our start line. Yeah. Then we were getting a little bit curved, yeah. I think if I stay more to the left side, yep. the head is not really turned like this. No. That's really close. Yeah. That one feel pretty solid. Yeah, I like that. Just into the, the face a little bit. So strike wise, that was really good. Mm -hmm. That was four mil toe, four millimeters low. So just ever so yeah. slightly in there. So on those last last couple, I think sometimes when, when you sort of obviously, you've been worried about that one. So you almost like overcompensate with how open the face yeah. and you just hang on to the face a little bit as well. It feels, but still, if you see the like, mm -hmm. video on it, yeah. I, I wouldn't see it. So if we look at where, where, where we've got that one, so the, the path is, is very, can very consistently there. On uh, The face is basically square to the target, a little bit open. Okay. So it's, it's, it's very, very neutral. If I see my swing, mm -hmm. I can see my irons coming down more 
out in and longer claw mm -hmm. change to the longer claw I can see more in to under You've got to always remember though, when you're watching video in 2D, in two dimensions, it can often, it, it will fool you for what you see. So there, there's, there's times when, when a club looks like it's coming over the top, but where the sweet spot of the golf club is traveling, these, these measure in 3D, not 2D. Camera will only ever show you 2D. So if you look down the line at a golf swing and you think it looks like it's doing one thing, it can often be doing something very different. Okay, so it's just it's the difference between measuring 2D versus 3D. Okay, so this is, this is back to where we had it at the start. Just a little bit low. Just kick the spin up a little bit. Low on the face? Mm hmm Yeah, that was all. So that was, a, that was a feel for you, like you swung more into out, Dion? Yeah. It just looked to me like, that just looked like there was some freedom to your release on that one, right? Like you were, you were kind of comfortable to release the club. Yeah, so, so the feel on that one was, and you can see that you can see that the change was really in the angle of attack, so as sort of Nyon was controlling the face yep. and obviously feeling like, okay, just covering it more, covering it more just to keep the ball flight coming out flatter and a little straighter. It was, it was driving the angle of attack down a little bit. So early on, it was like, you know, 4-1. Look at those ones early on. So basically mid threes. And that one there, the angle of attack shifted upwards to 5-6 right. up. So the, that kind of allowed the face to square up a little bit more. So we're able to release it. Just hung back a little bit too much on that one. Just left too much loft on the face. Too much distance. Yeah, yeah. So that was delivered loft there now on. That was 20.9 on the loft. That was really close. When when you're in the course, are you just are you playing for a very neutral ball flight, basically to hit it straight? In direction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like you said, it's starting left, low. Yeah. Like turning to the more left. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the I try to avoid. Yeah, the low lefts. Yeah. Yep, yep. So my practice thing would be always like more protective. Yep.
petite souris. Yeah. Okay, so I think that, I mean, you've, you've kind of, you've neutralized your flight over the last little while, so you've predominantly got the club path moving. Just ever so slightly out, out to in. The face is opening a little bit, but the toe, the, the strike is predominantly in the toe, which is what kind of makes it pretty neutral. So, so, you mean like this part yes, and yeah. this one kind of they, they cancel each other out a little bit. So, so this one went left, yeah. right? Toe and closed, mm -hmm. it's point three only, but yeah. it's still, okay. So that's, and that point three is closed to the path. So it's point, point two point nine closed to the target. So that's the one that starts a little left. That's the one you really don't yeah. like to see. Yeah. Um, so that's the danger of that one. Yeah, that's dangerous. Right. So for me, I would, to be honest, I would have, I would say your your long term sort of, your longer term strategy will be, if that goes away, this will probably in strike. Right, so whether that's vertical swing plane, so whether that's kind of like we talked about with the handle, so the more that the handle moves up, the more the club shortens, the more sort of we go from having that in the center of the face there, we lift the handle and, it, and we're gonna strike it in the toe. Right, so yeah, the more, because we saw that a little bit with some of the irons, so. That was zero. So what was your change there? Okay. So very centered, just a little bit low. Yeah. Sometimes I felt my like this part mm -hmm. getting away. Yeah, from yeah. My body yep. This one also I think more this way. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and that's something that, that so many people do. And as, as more power, as we look for more power out of our swing, it's very easy to sort of stand up and, and get an early extension, which obviously, you know, gets us a little bit stuck. That's the feeling of like having to do something, you know, like it feels like that. Um, so obviously, when you kind of sit down on it, handle lower, rotate, then it's easier to kind of retain control of the club face. That sounded really nice. Yeah, so I mean that's Really neutral. So in terms of choosing heads, where where I see that loft fluctuate, it has to be the nine for sure. Nine degrees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and, and yeah, just that, that weight obviously, you know, where that weight is neutral is is, is ideal. Okay. Okay. I mean, all the all the distances were. Very, let's have a look. So, in terms of your gaps, um, let's go fifty-eight. Jenny. 
So here's what we've got. So carry was 81, 98, 108, 123, 130, 140. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you this as well so you've like, got it. I can just show my caddy yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Six So if anything throughout the throughout the setup, there was seven was a little bit to the right. Mm -hmm. Six we turned over a little bit, which kind of accounts for that extra mm -hmm. extra yardage. Let's see what we saw in here. So your lie angles are so that we would consider this three degrees flat. Okay, so sixty-two being general, sort of standard. 59.75 on the seven. So that one could could do with coming down a little bit. So that one's a fraction too upright. These are good. Pitch and wedge is a little too upright, so that should be 61. Then we need to think about what, what we want to do with those, whether we leave those, we leave those wedges like that. Because we go from 61 then to 62.75. The reason you ask me is my wedge ball going left, and and they never based on this. Mm -hmm. but it's actually not. It going wasn't. To the left. If anything, uh, the fifty-eight drifted slightly right. Fifty-eight. Mm, Forty-eight. Sorry. 48. Yeah. Okay. So what about like? So you think a six iron with a fifty-nine is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so six was that average for 30 degree. Is it 30 or 31? So I think I remeasured it, it was 31. It was oh. 31, six, 59. I'll show you again. The second set were they matched for loft and lie, Nyon? On the on this set were they mat were they the same? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, so that one's thirty one fifty nine on that on the six. No, I mean I know, like you said, 31 is kind of weaker side. I know, not yeah. Side, but, but I wouldn't. Sims okay. Isn't yeah, it? based on where your your spin rates were, I wouldn't yeah. want you to. I wouldn't want you to lose any spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose any of that height. But that's even not even the height side. Yeah. Either. So I think whether that's been something from what you've been working on with with that, it's uh, it's good. It's a good sign, I think. Yeah. So from this one, like, has a 3.5 gap. Mm hmm this to 3.5 gap? Yep. 3.5 gap? Mm-hmm. And three, three. yep. Okay. So we're three there, three there, and then we are 4.5. So, I mean, it, it, all, it all works really well. It all blends really, really nicely. Yep. Were there any um, yardage gaps that were concerned? Really good. The any only, I mean, consistent? literally the only gap that showed up was Nyon hit three really good six irons. Yeah. And the six iron went a little bit further than we expected it to, but it was literally just just three really good strikes. Just three nuke shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it. And yeah. and that can that can absolutely happen. Like she had it. Well, you can see it right there. It's, she I had it right had, online. Like going a little bit further with the three of them. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, like you said, sometimes you find yourself right in between that yardage where you have to take something off the five hybrid. So that no, looked good. Mm hmm. 
Can I leave it here? Definitely. Because you have all the information. And just match up the specs? Yeah, like same as that one. Absolutely. Did you, did you hit a few over there? Okay, what, just a little bit at address? And just, yeah, and just now when I turn mm -hmm. my left shot, and yeah. then both shots turn right and then fall left. Okay, cool, cool. This is okay. the ballpark I want. I, want. I don't want shots straight. Like yeah, draw. you want the push draw. Mm -hmm. well, let me know if, if when you play tomorrow and you make that little adjustment out there tomorrow, if you feel like it's too hard on the course, like you can do it in here but not on the course, and you want to go flat again, you come on in tomorrow night and uh, we'll do that. Toe down, yeah. And that's it, we, do, we definitely don't want that, that toe going too far down, Tiff. That's, that's good where it, where it is. Ian, was the pitching wedge um, going to be adjusted at all for lying or anything, or is that one? What was the decision on that? On no. Um, Your, the, it was a 40, what was that, a 48? 44 point, Five, yeah. Okay. I'm okay to change my pitching wedge to 61. 61 mm -hmm. Because my pitching wedge, I said, it's all going to the left. Yeah. So I would like to change, change that one. a little bit. So um, basically, everything else is fine, and, and the only other one's a 7. Just going, so we go 59 and 59, 5, 60, 65, 61. And from wedges, if I, it's it, I think it's all same length mm -hmm. with the even pitching wedge. Um, do you think I should change to 62 for lying or for? Yeah, they're all, they are all the same. Mm -hmm. I think I can change it. 61, my pitching wedge. Yeah. And then maybe just all my. 62, six, 62, 62. Yeah. What, let's do it and then let's quickly hit those three if you can, just to make sure we don't see something okay. that we don't like. Okay. okay, let's make that little change. Hang on one second, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, if this, those three are good, then you wouldn't change. Just, just for consistency's sake, because if we're going 61 and then we jump to almost 63, yeah. that's quite, that is quite, yeah. a, quite a difference. Okay, okay. so let's, let's move these a All little right. bit flatter. And I would just leave it this one as a maybe. Leave those ones with me now and yeah, and we'll, we'll get those adjusted. You guys playing a practice round together tomorrow? If she's okay with that, then. <laughs> <laughs> Is she being picky? <laughs> Always. How dare you? Even if I have to play it. What's wrong? Scary. I get nervous. <laughs> Big money match. <laughs> when do we have like actually play like money match game? We did. When? Well, not really. Yeah, always like dinner or drink oh. something. Like that. Who won the last match? Me. I brought you dinner. Oh. In Scotland. Mm -hmm. Like fish and chips. It's got to be fish and chips if it was in Scotland. No. Yeah, better one. Yeah, she, she wanted a better one. Fish and chips are really cute. <laughs> cute. For her. Yeah, I understand. We did have fish and, uh, fish and chips, though. I'm done. Just hitting with We're like just going to hit three shots. Three shots. Okay. Just going to confirm that those lie angles are We're good. just making sure we, we, there was a, a little difference in the, the lie angles between the pitching wedge of the Apex and the, the Mac Daddy. 
So it was oh, okay. 61 up to 62.75. So that's the, the transition into the iron. Yeah, and although it, like, it showed up really good on the test, I mean, the, 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 the ball flight was really neutral, yeah. but... Could she be a jet, like a, a compensating yeah, basically, maybe, right? Maybe, and it also there's, there's part of, you know, different shaft, different weight. Mm. So there's, there's maybe something going on, so we just want to recheck. Gotcha. That's all. Let's hit a couple with that one. Okay. Yeah, so it's going, see, it's going a little short, a little short right. on the two miles different <laughs> two miles an hour okay let me pop it I'm going to pop it back up a little bit now I'm going to just pop that lie back up just a touch Gotta protect that finish a little bit. Did the ping rep, did he, uh, did he get you ahead? I forgot. Don't worry, no, you, no worries. You hold on to, you hold on to that head. No, don't, you don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Better, isn't it? Yeah, I think we. Do you know what? And, and that's basically back to where it was, Nyon. I just started wondering. Yeah, it just, it just keeps it a little bit more online.
little faster. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. So that's compared to the, to the first time. Yeah, very, very similar. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of speed. It's in the club data. It's a bit same. Seventy six both times. So I think I think we just I think we leave. We leave those those guys okay. as they were. Okay. okay. Um, we're all done. Yep. Um, so if, if you, anything you see tomorrow out in the course, feel free to let me know. And if you need to pop, pop back in and have anything else adjusted before Thursday, yeah. let me know, OK? Ian, I'm going to sign off here, bud. OK, yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in.